Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Emma. If you're not new here, my name's still Emma. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are trading mum's Holden Commodore in for Anus and Lou. So now you guys are probably kind of concerned as to why we're trading in like a good car for an electric car. It's just a trial period of two days because Greg is like set on getting an electric car and we're kind of like the rest of us are kind of like uh, because the range on it isn't ideal so you need like plug it in and charge it quite often but we're gonna give it a go we're gonna see how it goes so we're gonna bring you guys along with us it's been a while since I last vlogged I think it's been like three weeks I'm excited to be back into it I hope my camera doesn't fall over I'm balancing it on a glass jar right now because my tripod is still broken but yeah, I'll see you guys when we're in the car. We are now, well I'm in the car, I'm waiting for the other people because they're taking so long. But this is a bit of a family ordeal so we're going to have Nana and Granddad coming as well as Mum and Dad. When Greg gets in the car we'll give him to explain us a bit more because I'm still unsure as to kind of what's happening. Okay Greg, explain what's happening. Okay, we're on a family adventure. Nana and Granddad are here from Whangarei. It's raining, it's a Sunday. We're driving out to swap our beautiful Commodore SV6 for an electric vehicle for two days so the gentleman I'm going to see runs a company called plug and drive and he's been totally electric for the last three years and imports cars from the UK and I think Japan and uh, he's offered us a drive experience so let's go see Maza. Goodbye Commodore, nice knowing you. Dad is just out here now signing all the paperwork and handing over the driver's license. First impressions is that it's quite snug. I'm here with Nana. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> you gonna wave goodbye to your car, Mum? It's so quiet. When you started backing out, I didn't actually realise that the car was on. This is so weird, it's so quiet. Hi, hi. As you can see our windows are fogging up and um, we had to turn on the aircon but then what happens when you turn the aircon dad? It reduces your range. So that means you can't go as far right? Can't go as far. So here's a better look at the exterior of the car that plug and drive is the people who we are borrowing it off. So we are at home at the moment having some lunch and then we're going to pop back into town and go and visit some people and take them for a drive at our new whip. I hate myself for that. It's now three o'clock and we're about to go hop back in our little, um, I don't even know what you call it, kind of like a rental car, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're off to go take some of the people who work with my parents for a drive because they were all like real skeptical about the whole idea of the car, so this is going to be kind of entertaining. Grant is happy he's got the rugby on. Hello! Are you not driving? Mum's going to drive. Oh my goodness! You treat it like it's your own car, you're just like, oh yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is where you plug it in and charge it, eh? Yep. Pops up. That pops out of there. This just goes in here. We're at the fast charger now, charging up because um, we've been driving a little bit. But you can see Dad's parking is quite something. Um, Dad's a bit excited because. What are you doing to the pop? Why? How do you know? Because it's price. Well, anyways, he's a little bit excited because he works like by the fast charger, so he. He um, comes out like during his shifts and he comes out and like talks to people who charge their cars here So now he's actually going to use it himself. He doesn't know what he's doing, but he's very excited And here we have Greg already looking at buying <laughs> Yep Oh no <laughs> So we've managed to get the car to 90% now and we're gonna go home but Dad's a little hissy fit because he wants Mum to know how to do it when it's not even our car, eh Mum? Nah. There's <laughs> a bit of difficulty there. The trip was, um, I left the cover off for the uh, power thing and the little trap door wouldn't shut properly. Oh. 
Okay, so to finish the vlog, here's our little leaf. Um, we are now home. I don't think we're going to go anywhere because we've got the car for another like another day, but I'm not even going to be here because I'm going to be at school. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is the end of the Nissan Leaf vlog. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Overall, the car is actually really nice. I was actually real skeptical about the whole idea, um, but it's a lot nicer than I was anticipating. It's really quiet. And, yeah. Greg, what's your overall thoughts on the car? Pretty good so far. I'm closing it here because I'm not going to be here to be in it tomorrow. Okay, no worries. Mum's taking it to work tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. And I'm taking it to Auckland tomorrow night. So I hope she remembers to fill it up. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise you're going to be stuck on the motorway. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you're probably going to like my others. So give this video a big thumbs up if you think electric cars are cool. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.